안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. I'm Maria. And we're So Do For Two. Okay, so next is going to be a Japanese drama review. Watching and, now. Yeah, watching now. Uh, this is Switch Girl. And this yes. came out, I guess, in 2011. But it's watching now for us because it's uploaded to Drama Crazy and they haven't got all the episodes subbed yet. So. Dramacrazy.net. Yeah, dramacrazy.net. Okay, so the two main characters in this one. So we have their character names because it's easier for me. I'm sorry. My Japanese is really, really bad. Uh, Tamiya, Nika, and Arata. Yeah, so they're the two main characters for this, and it's called—I mean, it's called Switch Girl, and that's really what's going on yeah. in this story. So it's one of those titles that actually makes, makes a lot sense. of sense. <laughs> and we're up to episode seven, which is what I guess is subbed at the moment. Uh, and I think these are much shorter, so it's about twenty minutes long. Uh, so it's we watched really it quick. really quick. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely, I think you know, worth watching if you want to watch something. We equate this to the British show if you've ever seen it, or British movie, mm-hmm. and it was also based on books. Uh, Angus thongs and full frontal snogging. Which I know sounds like a mouthful. It was a bit younger, yeah. but it's also like a similar idea. It's yeah, because like, not really like the Switch Girl part, but mm-hmm. just the idea of like how frank she is and yeah. how she talks. And it's definitely not Korean about some of the subject matter because she's talking about like, you know, why she hasn't lost her virginity yet. Um, you know, why uh, she constantly thinks she's going to like potentially have sex with the main male lead. I mean, it's funny. Yeah. Uh, but it's definitely not it's not like Korean. It's not like vulgar. It's yeah. just like really not frank Korean. and yeah, not Korean at all. <laughs> So, um, chemistry. Yeah. No, obviously it's cute chemistry. Yeah. I mean, the basic storyline here is that she's a switch girl, which means she goes from being uber, you know, pretty, popular, all these things, like, does everything right, to an off switch, which is when she's, like, her true self, which is really messy and, um, dresses, like, all in sweats and she's just kind of dirty a little bit. And, um, and the boy's off switch is, so when he's on, he kind of plays, like, a geek which pretty much just consists of him putting on a pair of glasses. And then uh, his off switch is he's a handsome boy. Uh, And they're both kind of being switch people for a different reason. Mm -hmm. So it's it's an interesting plot. It's really different. We've never really seen anything. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. And the chemistry, I think, is really funny. I mean, she kind of is always, like, really overacting, which I think we're sometimes we now are getting used to that kind of style. And then he's a little bit more mellow. We think it's funny. Yeah. We enjoy that. It definitely adds a little bit of, like, and a humor because she's so exaggerated. Okay, so love triangle. So there's like a mini love yeah. triangle thing happening. Up to where we're at just because there's like these kids who are kind of like breaking up couples for fun yeah. and he likes her. And I mean, it might seem like we're going to see him again. I'm not really sure. But but him being in there kind of pushed the two of them uh, closer sure. together. So that was good. We like that. Yeah. Okay, so mistaken identity, misunderstanding. So that's, that's the whole, whole thing. thing. Yeah, like about their identity and yeah. who they are. And I honestly feel like this is going to be one of those ones where it's really good about like being who you are. And at the end, obviously, she's going to like be a little bit more, maybe a little less dirty and a little less a bit to be perfect. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And um, so I think it's going to be a good message. And right now, it kind of feels feels like mm-hmm. they're being a little bit fake on each side of the coin you know like the one is like they're not really getting to be their true self mm-hmm. and uh, I think they're obviously going to come together and realizing that uh, they should be themselves yes. so they have a good moral ending yes <laughs> oh, it's a bad guy turned good so clearly he's a little bit like that he's yeah. just sort of a jerk because he was sort of hurt mm-hmm. yeah his mother like abandoned him which consequently made him like hate women and that's why he's doing this mm-hmm. so that's why he's kind of like switching modes and hers is the same kind of mm-hmm. thing too I mean she became a, like the popular girl because people were really kind of mean to her yeah. uh, when she was younger it's like maybe they liked her but the, as like a person but they didn't want to date her or something so yeah it's interesting sort of how they, they yeah. became these people. It's an interesting storyline. Okay, so piggyback ride. I don't remember yeah, if there's one so far. Mean, it's nothing memorable. Yeah, kisses. kisses a few kisses. kisses. Yeah. It's not like the best kisses we've ever no, seen. it's like but frozen kisses I like kind of expect. I mean, yeah. yeah. There should be more for the kind of like the how funny this is. Uh, fashion, so school, school uniforms, uniforms versus her really dirty, horrible slim, really, sweatpants. Yeah. Oh, creepy mm-hmm. outfit. And if you watch, if you see like the uh, image for the mo- for the show, it's like her in a really cute schoolgirl uniform, and then like these funny little pom poms in her hair and stuff. Like it's really funny. So I, I think this is one like the music wasn't really a big part of this, but I think if you want to watch a really quick sort of just funny drama that's a little bit, you know, a little more colorful than, like, some of the Korean ones you watch, I think this one would definitely be a good one to watch. So we'll keep posted. We'll watch the rest yeah. of the episodes. Okay, bye. Bye, guys.